Suffolk is saying goodbye to what's being called a staple in the community. Bennett's Creek Farm Market suddenly closed its doors, opening up a lot of questions. News 3's Angela Bohan has reaction. Serving Suffolk since the 60s. I am totally flabbergasted that they are no longer here. To my surprise, the doors, the shades are drawn and there's a sign that says closed until further notice. What a disappointment. Do you come here often? Oh yes, all the time. Much of the day, I was breaking the news to hungry visitors about the sudden closing of Bennett's Creek Farm Market. Cheryl Jubert even teared up. Been coming here since I've been living here, which has been about 19 years. I'm, I'm really sad. One regular told me this parking lot is packed during lunch, but as you can see, it is now empty. Just people stopping by, shocked and surprised at the news. You can see the sign even shows they're now hiring. Hours after the announcement, a contractor told me he was here to change the door locks. Why? Well, the general manager posted on social media saying it was the owner's decision, and he told me they're devastated this had to happen, adding it was a combination of factors. We know the property is now listed for sale for nearly $3 million. Chain places are okay, but you know, a lot of us still really want that you know, neighborhood, market, home feel. Online sentiments spreading about as fast as word of their amazing chicken salad. They had the best chicken salad. It's a loss to the community, it really is. Just four hours before announcing the closure, Bennett's Creek Farm Market was inviting everyone to enjoy gumbo on Fat Tuesday. Their gumbo is awesome too, I forgot about that. Also sharing pictures of homemade king cake fudge. This is very disappointing <laughs> and heartbreaking at the same time. Many are asking if they'll reopen in a new location. At this time, all we know is the general manager wrote on social media, we will be back. I don't think they'll be able to recreate what they've got here. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end sooner or later. In Suffolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.